Dale with Axe Token, what's up? Okay, so um, maybe we'll do some mindset stuff, you know, maybe some success kind of mindset stuff, some stuff I've read and, and found useful. So um, three more quick ones. Um, the first one's good habits. So, I mean, this is just generally everyone knows this, but you, 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 gotta, you gotta get rid of the bad habits. You know, stop smoking, stop, uh, 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 you know, maybe don't drink so much uh exercise you know eat right maybe less sugar more protein you know that sort of thing these small little incremental changes can really have an effect on your life and on your outlook and your well-being and things like that you know i mean this when you feel better then you do better you think better and then you do better things you, you, right i mean that's just i mean that that's that's been common sense for a hundred years you know but um and it's always good to kind of revisit that um you know, I've, I've, I've done keto for, you know, low carb keto for since 2018. It's great. You know, it's great. It makes you feel good. If, you know, when we go on vacation or something and, and we, we have all the delicious food, it's like, uh, afterward you feel like, oh, deflated. When you get back on program, you feel great again. So, um, and then that, like I said, that allows you to think more clearly and act clearly and, you know, then you achieve, achieve what you want, achieve your goals. So, um, the second one real quick is so, uh, good habits. Uh, this one kind of leads into good habits is, um, is, uh, patience. And I was reading something recently. It's, it's pretty interesting. It's called active patience. So what does that mean? Patience isn't just sitting around and twiddling your thumbs and just waiting for something to happen, you know, waiting for God to intervene, <laughs> you know, that, uh, active patience is while the thing that you're being patient for, like in this case, crypto, you know, I mean, crypto is, it, it will try your patience mm -hmm. just because things don't, things don't happen quickly. And if they do happen quickly, they happen quickly for five minutes. And then you'll have five hours, 500 years of nothing, <laughs> you know? So, um, the, the idea of active patience is to prepare for whatever, whatever, whatever thing you're focusing on, you're being patient for while that thing is percolating, while that thing is happening you do other things, you, you, you have an active patience, you prepare for that. So let's use crypto for example. So you, you're waiting for crypto to pop, you're waiting for it to bounce, you're waiting for, um, uh, you know, some new opportunity to come, whatever you're doing, you're going to do in the meantime, while you're waiting for that, while that thing is happening, while you think it's happening out there, you learn about crypto, you go read about crypto, you, you find you find uh, uh, gurus, you find experts, and you learn from them. You watch their videos. You know you you want to start a business. You want to you want to partner with someone and 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 you know build a build a brand. So, you know what I'm saying. You want to do some marketing. Whatever whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you want to focus on and expand and and become an expert in, while while you're waiting for that opportunity to come, you have an active patience meaning that you're doing other things, you're preparing for other things while this thing is, is, is working, working its way through. So that's, you know, patience isn't just, isn't just sitting around waiting for, I mean, you know, there are a lot of Christians in our group, so you use the Bible as an example, you know, J Jesus is coming back, right? So are we just waiting around, doing nothing, waiting for Jesus to come back? No, there's, we got a thousand things we we're gonna do. The same thing. There's a thousand things to do while you're waiting for whatever other thing is, is is what you're waiting for, what are you being patient for? So active patience is a good idea. And that's, you know, it's a good way to look at it. You know, it's, uh, it's a good way to kind of approach, well, what are we doing? What's happening? Is there anything going on? Well, what are you doing? <laughs> We're over here working, what are you doing? Okay, great. So you're with us, active patience. Um, and then the third thing, um, kind of in that similar vein, it's like a mindset thing, it's like a focus thing. Um, there's a lot of fear around and like emotion around money. Um, and a lot of people get stuck with that. They get stuck in kind of an emotional, it's almost like a feedback loop. Okay. Um, I wanted to kind of address a little of that, just, just kind of a, a like a 10,000 foot view of that. Um, I was reading, a, I was reading some articles recently about the shadow self. I'm not sure if you've ever heard that. I, the first time I heard about it was. Uh, and it's funny too, because I read Carl Jung in college and nobody ever mentioned anything about the shadow self. And then, you know, five minutes ago, I read an article about the shadow self. It's Carl Jung, you know, it's, you know so, wow. Okay, it's been years since I read him, so. But they, uh, Carl Jung talked about the shadow self, meaning 
So you have the person that you present to the world, you know, you have all the nice things about yourself that you like, that you want other people to like, that's, that's what you present to the world. Then you have the shadow self, which is all the stuff that you kind of don't like about yourself that you hope remain hidden, you know, that, you know, that you, you don't want people to know about yourself. Um, and so the idea is to kind of look at that part of yourself and like, d don't allow yourself to get triggered by it. Like the, the example in the article was, uh, so if you were told as a kid that you talk too much and then, you know, you like internalize that as a kid, what do you know the difference, you know? So you internalize that as a kid. And then when somebody later in your life says, hey, that essay you wrote has too many words in it. Maybe it's a little wordy, maybe edit some of that out. You get mad, you know, like you, like, like they offended you or something, but it's not, it not they didn't say anything mean, you know, it was, but you took it that way because of the fact that you had that, you had that history with that, you know, I, I talk too much thing. So there's lots of that, you know, that we have in ourselves. And a lot of it is around money. There's a lot of that kind of emotional um, armor, you know, around money. You know, your parents fought about it. People, people kill, steal, uh, you know, maim over money, you know, all over the world. There's, there's, you know, it's not all the strife in the world is about money, but a lot of it is about money. So you've got this, You've got this uh, monkey on your back. You've got this Promethean, you know, a rock that you're carrying around about money. So um, it, uh, uh, it, it's something to kind of look at and, and maybe unpack a little bit and see. I, 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 I'll tell you this. You are not cursed over money. The, if, you want, if you want things in this world, it's okay to want you know, it's not, it's not, uh, again, there's lots of Christians around. So the Bible doesn't say don't get money. The Bible doesn't say wealth is bad. Okay. It's what you do with the wealth. That's either good or bad. It's the, it, uh, it, money's a tool. If you have a shovel, you can build the foundations of a, you know, church, or you can brain somebody in the head with it. Okay. So the tool is not the evil thing. It's what you do with the evil thing or the good thing that makes it either good or evil. So you can have money if you're willing to work for it, if you're willing to add value, it's not even really work. I mean, it's, it's adding value. If you have some new idea that makes something easier for someone else, that's valuable and they'll pay for it, okay? So money is good. Money is neither good nor evil. The, what you do with it is good or evil. You can have as much as you want as, as long as you're willing to add enough value. And no, you're not cursed. It's not, there's no, there's, there's no, there's no mojo out there saying that you can't have it. Okay. So, um, it's always good to hear that sometimes. And especially in times like this that are, you know, we're kind of tense waiting for the thing. And, you know, so these are just good ideas. Uh, until next time.